Welcome to today's video where I would like to tell you about my experiences after a year of owning this Honda. So far I have driven about 9100 kilometers and I must say that I am very satisfied with the bike so far. I have now had my annual service with no problems. They changed the oil, changed the filter, lubricated the chain and did some inspection. If you wanted to know, the cost for that was 117 euros at the Honda service, of which 44 were materials and the rest was service work. Let me tell you, for the fact that the motorcycle was there for an hour and 10 minutes, 70 euros per hour for service work is quite enough. I had a cracked plastic around the screw, so they replaced the windshield as a part of the warranty. Honda has a service interval of 12,000 km or one year. As for power, we have 35 kW. When I drive alone, it's quite okay, because I drive mostly at legal speeds. It is also not a problem to overtake. When I drive with a pillion, it's okay in 90% of cases. In those remaining 10% of cases, I have to think twice whether to overtake or not. It would require a bit more torque. As for consumption, I have 3.4 liters per 100 kilometers. The manufacturer states 3.5 liters, so we are below the norm. I had even less when I wasn't driving highways. My record was 2.7 liters per 100 kilometer. One thing that bothers me on the highway is that at 130 km per hour the engine turns over 6000 revs. Then you can feel the vibrations in the handlebars and also foot pegs. I would appreciate a little lower revs. What am I missing on this bike? In addition to the already mentioned higher torque, I miss the cruise control on this bike. Because when I drive longer on the highway, after an hour of keeping a constant speed, my wrist hurts. Would I buy this bike again? The Honda CB500X is a perfect bike for commuting to work, or for a beginner rider, or for a rider who rides in a relaxed style. In addition, it is well priced and economical. If I were to ride alone, Yes, but since we often ride to up, I'm already looking for something more powerful, at least 750cc, but preferably 900cc. Thank you for watching my video, hope to see you in the next one.